Hey Norwegian Cruise fans and welcome to my channel Cruise with Grant where we talk about all things Norwegian Cruise Lines. In today's video I'm going to share with you the top five mistakes that you don't want to make while dining on board NCL. So without further ado let's get into it. Coming in at number five is dress code. Now you may have heard that Norwegian is all about freestyle dining, which means that you can eat at any time you want, but it doesn't mean that you can wear anything you want while you're doing that. And I found that out the hard way on my last cruise, where I went to go to one of the sit down restaurants for lunch, and they said that I couldn't go in because I was wearing a tank top. So don't make the same mistake as me. Uh, I'll put in the link below in the description some of the dress code requirements for NCL uh, or you can also find them at the reservation desk while you're on board and I just want to say the requirements are very minimal usually just sleeves and some of the restaurants require a collared shirt and for the most part you can wear whatever you want if you're eating in the buffet some of the requirements are only that for example you're wearing shoes. Coming in at number four is dining in groups. And this applies really if you're part of a group or a family that's more than six people. If you're considering going to one of the sit down restaurants, I'd recommend breaking yourselves up into two groups because in general, Norwegian is gonna try and do its very best to make sure that everybody is getting their food at the same time. And this can be really complicated when you're preparing 10 different meals, for example, that require 10 different cook times. It may make your dining dining experience a little bit longer than you had expected. So consider dividing yourself into smaller groups to make sure that you can have your meal in a reasonable time frame. Coming in at number three is don't miss the daily specials if you're eating in the main dining room. Now on first glance, you may look at the menu and think it looks about the same every single day. But if you take a closer look, you'll notice there are daily selections, things that may only show up one, maybe two days on your cruise. And then there's an area that has fixed specials where you'll find things like the herb roasted chicken and the New York strip steak that will be there every day. So if you're looking to make the most of the food on your cruise, be sure to sample some of those daily selections. On my last cruise, the chocolate lava cake was particularly popular. And one night, our entire solo group decided we were just all going to go for the chocolate lava cake and it was delish. Coming in at number two is only making reservations for specialty dining on sea days. Now I've covered some other tips around specialty dining in my top tips for things to do on the first day of your cruise, but this one is a little different. Many people only try to make their reservations for specialty dining on sea days when they've got nothing else going on, but those are usually the busiest days and fill up fastest. So consider trying to make a reservation on a port day when you may be able to have a more relaxed meal and also find more availability in terms of the reservation times that are available. Coming in at number one is missing the onboard entertainment. It's really easy when we're focused on eating the best things that are available to miss some of the great entertainment and shows. So in general, have a look at your freestyle daily on board and find out when there's show times. You'll wanna plan for at least 60 to 90 minutes to have your meal, plus an additional 20 to 30 minutes to arrive early at the theater to get the best seats. Now, if you are wanting to have a relaxed meal and you're able to stay up a little bit later, my experience says that usually the later shows at nine o'clock or 10 o'clock are a lot less full. So if you're able to wait a little bit later, um, you can probably get some premium no seats without arriving as early and having a little bit more time for your dinner. Um, oftentimes at the later shows, they also open up some of the seating that was previously uh, reserved for the Haven if it's not full uh, of those guests. Are there any mistakes that you don't want to make when you're dining on NCL? Please let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel as it really does help me out. And if you're looking for other tips around dining on board NCL, don't forget to check out my video on the free at sea specialty dining perk. Thanks very much for watching this video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.